Hiya, it's Danny, and today I'm going to be talking about a few of my most recent jewellery purchases slash gifts. Um, I'm going to start with one of these tattoo 90s style tattoo chokers that I remember <laughs> from the first time they came around. Um, I never had one then, um, I was kind of a bit too young for them, and then when I sort of saw them coming back into fashion I kind of I don't know why I thought oh I, I'm not gonna get one for no real reason in particular I don't really know why and then I saw this on sale in Topman um it was with another little necklace with a yin and yang sign on but I didn't want that anyway it was on sale for like £1.50 or something and I thought oh well why not and then I've worn it loads since so it's just made us so happy. Next I'm gonna talk about ooh, which one will I choose? There's not that many really. Okay. Got this really cute necklace. Can you see it alright? Shiny shiny silver from HM. Two strands, little circle, and then like a half like crescent moon kind of shape. And I think this was only two ninety nine or three ninety nine, like proper cheap, and I just loved it. I thought it was kind of like sort of a take on modern witchy kind of jewellery, and I just love it so much. It's quite short; it comes to about there, but it's kind of got. Oof, I'll just blow all the cat hair off my possessions. It's got um. If you can see there, kind of like an extender chain. I've noticed that on a couple of H&M pieces where they've just got these set rings where you can have the chain extended to, which I'm okay with. I don't mind if they want to explore that, I'll let them. Next up is a necklace that I got given as a present from a friend because it was broken and she works in like a very well-to-do high fashion um, company based in the northeast. I'm not going to say which one it is <laughs> just in case I get her into trouble. Um, but this necklace is by Alexander McQueen and it's got a nice little gold safety pin charm and a little gold razor blade charm. Because you know harmful things are always cool. Really really long gold chain. It's huge. But it was broken just there where it just kind of snapped and they couldn't sell it obviously so she gave it to me and said if you can do anything with it then you know by all means have it and I was like yes I can. So <laughs> I got this little ball chain fastener thing off a key ring and just attach it on there and I don't think it's that noticeable and if it is don't really care it was free <gasps> showing everyone my armpits no I need a shave <laughs> just letting everything go today I'm gonna have to be like that impulse advert you know the one where they can't sort of want to lift their arms up uh, there we go <laughs> I think that retails at about £85. Next up is a really amazing, beautiful, amazing, 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 fabulous necklace that I got from a local auction. Oh, I'm gonna have to hide my armpits. Why didn't I shave them? For fuck's sake. Idiot. Right, okay, you can just... Ooh. Show you there. A really amazing, ornate cross. I've got no idea how old it is or where it was actually from, if it's worth any money or whatever, but it was just at an auction in Biker. There's a really cool um, auction house called Thomas Miller Auctions, I think, in Biker. And they just have like amazing stuff and it goes for dead, dead cheap. Like amazing, like full Victorian sort of wardrobe sets and like 50s bedroom sets like just amazing amazing stuff and then they, they often have little trays full of jewellery and stuff as well 
actually that reminds us I've got another one that I haven't put on the bed yet two seconds um but yeah this one I loved it and I sent Mitch to get it for us and I was like literally just I'm willing to pay up to like 50 pound for that because it's just gorgeous really really long again could do with being a bit shorter actually but beggars can't be choosers amazing right um another thing I got from the auction in the same little set was this hang on a minute One of those, um, you know, when you go to like local attractions or like ancient Celtic ruins and things like that. It's like a, a necklace from like a gift shop of somewhere like that. Because um, I got this uh, nice little box. Our Celtic heritage. I know. I, is it backwards? It's backwards to me now. Once I put it on YouTube, it might go the right the right way around, but. Who knows? Who really cares? Crafted in pewter by Saint Justin. I'm sure Saint Justin himself didn't actually make it. But uh, this is it anyway. Really cute little cross necklace. Can you see? Okay. And it's just sort of inscribed with Celticness. Celticisms. Celtic language things. But yeah, I really like that. So I was chuffed that that came as well in the little auction pile. It sits about there and it looks well goff in it. Really, really bad cockney impression. <laughs> and then the most recent bit of jewellery that I've got was actually from TK Maxx. Um, I don't think I've ever bought any jewellery from TK Maxx before. Um, but I just, I was killing time one day and I thought, oh, I'll have a little look around the little jewellery stand and see what there is. See if I can get any cheap designer pieces. And, um, you know how TK Maxx is and there's these designer pieces and you're not quite sure if they're actually designer or not. <laughs> but it's a foreign name and it sounds exotic, so it must be fancy. <laughs> Got this Pilgrim Danish design necklace, whoever they are. Apparently it was meant to be £30 and I got it for fourteen ninety nine. And that is it basically. It's just this nice little sort of gunmetal grey stone there with two dark silver chains hanging down. A nice dark silver chain for around your neck. And if you can see there, it's like a really, really nice sort of link that it's got on it there. Little extender chain with a nice little logo on there. What does it say? Pilgrim established 1983. So it's just a bit older than me. But yeah, really, really lush. I thought it kind of fitted in with the sort of witchy, pagany, goth gem trend that's going on now, which I kind of like, but a lot of the things I'm not, not really feeling. I feel like they're sort of a bit hippie-ish looking but this one I thought it looked a bit more artistic and beautiful and that's why I bought it. If you've got like any comments if you like what I've bought uh, comment down below if you don't like it then fuck off. If you like this video give us a thumbs up it really really means a lot and if you subscribe then that would be awesome Um I need 500 subscribers to get my name in the URL so I can have like YouTube dot com forward slash Danny Vegas and it's not a necessity but it would make us happy. <laughs> Every little boost helps so click the subscribe button and I love you for evs. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!